Hello everyone. This video will introduce you to the installation and use of the C100 cell counter. 1. Product configuration display. Automated cell counter. Product certificate. Cell count slide. USB disk. User manual. Product list. Power cord and cell die. 2. Product structure display. On the front of the mainframe, there are USB interface and cell count slide insertion port from left to right. On the back of the mainframe, there are heat emission hole, USB interface, power switch, power interface and backboard from top to bottom. 3. Installation of fluorescent column. If you choose a fluorescent column, you need to install or replace it. First, turn the instrument backboard knob counterclockwise to open the backboard. There is a supplied installation tool on the back side of the backboard. Screw the installation tool into the screw hole on the fluorescent column. Note that the four contact points of the fluorescent column are connected and aligned with the four contact points inside the machine. Along the direction of the limited post, slowly tighten the two screws on both sides. There are two fluorescent column mounting grooves inside the machine, which can support the installation of two fluorescent columns at most. If necessary, you may install another fluorescent column into the instrument in the same way, or replace the existing fluorescent column. Put the tool back on the backboard. Then reset the backboard. Press the knob and rotate clockwise to fix. Four, system settings and parameter settings. Connect the power cord. Switch on the power and turn on the machine. Wait for a moment. The self-test progress bar will appear on the screen. Wait for the power on self-test. Enter the main interface and click to enter system settings. Click to view or modify the date and time. Click to switch the language. If you want to upgrade the instrument software, you need to insert the U-Disc with the new software first. Click to enter the software update interface. You can view the current system version. When the USB disk containing the updated software have been inserted, the system will ask whether to update now. Click Update Now and enter the password to update the software. Fluorescence Reset. Before replacing the fluorescent column, click Reset FL Cube to make the fluorescent column move up. After successfully resetting, the interface will show FL Cube Reset is successful. Please power off the device, then change the FL Cube. If you need to replace the fluorescent column, cut off the power first. For the replacement procedure, please refer to Fluorescent Column Installation. 
The system maintenance interface is password protected for maintenance operations. Return to the home screen. Click to enter the previous counts interface. In this interface, the count results can be viewed, filtered by time and retrieved by name. Unneeded results can be deleted. After inserting the USB disk, select the corresponding counting results and export them to the USB disk. Click View can view the detailed counting results. Return to the home screen. Enter the Profiles interface, where you can use the pre-saved parameters or create new parameters. To create a new parameter, first edit the name. Under the condition of bright field, you need to set the diameter, brightness, roundness, and other parameters of the cell. You can choose either non-tripan blue or tripan blue mode in the bright field. Different fluorescence modes can be set in the fluorescence field. We choose the non-tripan blue mode for demonstration. You can choose auto exposure or non-auto exposure. Auto exposure is enabled by default. Click Help in the upper right corner to see the definition of the parameter. After setting the parameters, click Save and the parameters will be saved in the parameter list. Click Cancel to return to the previous step. Click Default will return to the factory default parameters. All parameters will be restored to their initial values and the quick mode will be canceled. 5. Sample Adding and Bright Field Counting Demonstration The polystyrene microsphere is used for demonstration in the video and shall be mixed before use. When using cell suspension, be sure to ensure that the cell suspension is well mixed before pipetting the cell samples. Pipette 10 ml sample from the middle of the tube and add the sample along the upper semi-lunar chamber of the counting board. Being careful to hold the edge of the counting board and not to press the surface of the counting board. When adding samples, be careful not to form bubbles in the sample. After allowing the sample mixture to rest in the counting board for 30 seconds, insert the counting board into the cell counter. Insert the cell counting board. In the Profiles interface, click Load to jump to the count screen. After observing the cells, Click the Focus button to fine-tune the focal length until the cell contour is clear and a brightness aperture appears in the middle of the live cells. After focusing, click the Set button. Click the Zoom button to adjust the size of the picture field of view. Or you can use two fingers to slide the screen to zoom in and out. Before counting, you can select the dilution ratio of the protocell. If you choose 1x, the calculated result is the concentration of the cell samples in the counting board. If pre-dilution 2x has been performed, a 2x dilution ratio can be selected, and the counting result is the protocell concentration before dilution. 
Here we take 1x as an example. Click count to get the counting result of the total cell concentration. Click the histogram button to view all histograms that are included in the cell diameter distribution. Click the zoom button. You can zoom in or out of the picture for observation. Click on the mark button, mark or unmark the cell. Click the adjust button. Can adjust the parameters again to fine tune parameters or save parameters according to the current cell samples. The count result will change after the change. Click the calculator button to enter the dilution calculator interface. After entering the target volume and target concentration, the machine can directly display the amount of cell stock solution and buffer solution to be mixed. Click Help can help you understand its function. In the results interface, select Save As. The name of the count result can be renamed. You can choose to save the results to this machine or external devices. If you need to save to the external device, you need to insert a U-Disk. After the U-Disk is inserted, the machine will display the corresponding logo. The form of counting results include original pictures, table data, tagged pictures and PDF reports. Click Done after selecting as needed. In the results interface, if you click Done, the count result will be saved to this machine by default. 6. Fluorescent Field Counting Demonstration If you need fluorescence counting, you can select the parameter scheme of the default fluorescence mode in the parameter list, or you can create a new parameter scheme or rename or edit the existing parameter scheme. Now we choose DAPI fluorescent column for demonstration. In fluorescence mode, you can choose auto FL exposure and auto exposure. Adjust the cell fluorescence intensity parameter. Screen the positive cells according to cell fluorescence intensity during counting. Click Help in the upper right corner to see the definition of the parameter. Save the current parameter scheme. After inserting the cell counting board, click Load to jump to the counting interface. The machine will autofocus. The operation on the result interface is the same as above. Click Count. In the result interface, you can view the diameter distribution and RFU of cells. You can also zoom in and out of the picture. Mark cells and achieve imaging effects under different light fields. You can choose different fluorescent channels for superposition according to your experimental requirements. When DAPI is selected, the counter will display the cells stained with DAPI. The adjustment of the other functions is the same as that of the bright field.
the dilution calculator is operate in the same way. Click Help in the top left corner to see the instructions. The results are saved in the same way as the bright field. Seven, use of quick mode. Quick mode is often used for multiple counts of a large number of samples and is suitable for high quality cell samples. It is necessary to carry out fixed focus operation in non-fast mode. and then tick the fast mode to automatically focus counting after inserting the counting board, greatly reducing the counting time. Due to the complexity of the application of fluorescence, the fast mode is not recommended for fluorescence counting. If the calculated results differ greatly from the actual results in the fast mode, there is a deviation in the focus. It is necessary to adjust the focus in the non-fast mode before fixing focus counting and observation. Above is the entire process of the installation and use of the C100 cell counter. For any question, please call the company's after-sales service hotline on the screen.